Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we will have a quick overview of the recent trends in literary theory and criticism and we will discuss the important questions and answers focusing on trauma theory, cure studies, public sphere and new feminism. Trauma studies a key term in psychoanalytic approach to literary study emerged in 1990s. The theorists explored the impact of trauma in literature and society. Trauma is caused by many reasons which leaves a lasting impact on the victim's mental and emotional stability. Their focus of exploration is on child abuse, rape, the Holocaust, atrocities in colonial and post-colonial territories, bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, slavery, etc. Sigmund Freud analyzed the trauma experienced by soldiers in the First World War in his essay, Beyond the Pleasure Principle. His concept is Return of the Repressed. The soldiers who return from the battlefield experience a kind of shell shock trauma. The term shell shock trauma was coined by the British psychologist Charles Samuel Mayos to describe post-traumatic stress disorder. Judith Lewis Herman, an American psychiatrist, focused on the understanding and treatment of incest and traumatic stress. Her classic study on post-traumatic stress disorder is Trauma and Recovery, The Aftermath of Violence from Domestic Abuse to Political Power, published in the year 1992. Trauma Studies in Literary Criticism The field of trauma studies in literary criticism gained significant attention in 1996 with the publications of Kathy Karuth. She is a professor of English at Cornell University, pioneered a psychoanalytic post-structuralist approach. The term trauma theory was first appeared in Kathy Carroll's Unclaimed Experience, Trauma, Narrative and History, published in the year 1996. She suggests that trauma is an unsolvable problem of the unconscious. Kathy Carroll's essay, Trauma, Exploration in Memory, published in the year 1995, combined the essays and interviews of professionals from psychiatry, literature, film and sociology. Her extensive publication on literature, psychoanalysis and trauma manifest the influence of the Yale School of Critics, including Paul D. Mann, Jeffrey Hartman and Shoshana Feldman. Jeffrey Hartman's influential article on trauma theory is On Traumatic Knowledge and Literary Studies, published in the year 1995. Kali Thal, a pioneering scholar in the field of trauma studies. Her literature includes Holocaust survivors, Vietnam War veterans, incest and sexual abuse survivors. Kali Thal's groundbreaking work is Worlds of Hurt, Reading the Literature of Trauma, published in the year 1995. Trauma in Literature Herman Rapport's The Secondary Thinking and Trauma, Dostoevsky's Notes from Underground. Greg Fotter's Colonial Trauma, Utopian Carnality, Modernist Form, Tony Morrison's Beloved and Arunthadi Roy's The God of Small Things. Erne Wieser, Trauma and Power in Postcolonial Literary Studies, analyzed Zeik Mida's novel Ways of Dying and the Heart of Redness and Viti Ihimera's The Whale Rider. So the rise of trauma theory has provided a new ways of thinking and produced much works on trauma narrative. Cure Theory the Cure Studies as an academic discipline traces its roots back to the Stonewall Riots of 1969. The riots are considered as one of the most important events leading to the gay liberation movement and modern fight for LGBT rights in the United States. The principal theoretical impetus for Cure Theory can be traced back to Michel Foucault's History of Sexuality published in the year 1976. Gaile S. Rubin's 1984 essay is widely regarded as the foundational text of gay lesbian studies and cure theory is Thinking Sex, Notes for a Radical Theory of the Political Sexuality. A best-known work of Judith Butler, which influenced feminism, women's studies, gay and lesbian studies is 
Gender Trouble, Feminism and Subversion of Identity, published in the year 1990. The Italian feminist and film theorist Teresa de Loretis coined the term cure in Cure Theory, Lesbian and Gay Sexualities in 1991 in the journal De Francis, a journal of feminist cultural studies. And she focused on refusing heterosexuality as the benchmark of sexual formation. Anna Mary Jagos wrote the book Cure Theory and Introduction. The term compulsory heterosexuality was popularized by Adriana Rich, an American poet, essayist and feminist in her 1980 essay Compulsory Heterosexuality and Lesbian Existence. Epistemology of the Closet is a book published in the year 1990 by Eve Kosofsky Sechwuk. And she questioned human sexuality in terms of binary oppositions, heterosexuality and homosexuality. The National Lesbian Gay Quarterly is Outlook. So Cure Theory is a form of post-structuralist critical thinking and it deals with what a subject does and what a subject is. Public Sphere The term public sphere was coined by Jürgen Habermas, a German philosopher and sociologist. Jürgen Habermas was associated with the Frankfurt School. The German term for public sphere is Affenlichkeit. The term public sphere was first appeared in Habermas' book The Structural Transformation of Public Sphere, an inquiry into a category of bourgeoisie society published in the year 1962. The book was translated to English by Thomas Berger and Frederick Lawrence. Habermas defined public sphere as a virtual or imaginary community which does not necessarily exist in any identifiable place. So it's an area in social life where individuals can come together to freely discuss and identify societal problems and through that discussion influence political action. The key institutions of public sphere are salons, coffee houses, print and visual media. Another work on public sphere is by Ellen Mackey, The Public Sphere and Introduction. New Feminism Pope John Paul II used the term New Feminism in his encyclical Evangelium Vitae, The Gospel of Life, where he stated that in transforming culture so that it supports life, women occupy a place in thought and action which is unique and decisive. The phrase feminine genius is used by Pope John Paul II in his apostolic letter on the dignity and vocation of women. Pope's apostolic letter on the dignity and vocation of women aims to promote a new feminism which acknowledge and affirm the true genius of women in every aspect of life. A lay organization founded in response to Pope John Paul II's call to develop a new feminism is the Women of the Third Millennium. An earlier advocate of new feminism was Elena Rathbone, who said, We can demand what we want for women, not because it's what men have got, but because it's what women need to fulfill the potentialities of their own natures. The proponents are Pia de Solani, Katarina Zeno, Edith Stein, Sister Prudence Ellen. The basic tenets of new feminism are, it's a form of Christian feminism. They listen and faithfully respond to the teachings of Pope and affirm the equal dignity of women and men as made in the image and likeness of God. They entered into public life with a distinctively feminine psychophysical gifts. They seek personal fulfillment through a meaningful involvement in all spheres of life and bring their feminine gifts to the world. They embrace the physical difference because much concern is with motherhood role. They affirmed love and service, not power of dominance. New feminists have together attempted to articulate their understanding through the collection of essays Women in Christ towards a new feminism 2004 and Women as Prophet 
in the home and the world 2016 we have discussed the key points based on trauma studies cure theory public sphere and new feminism and if you feel that this class is useful for you please comment on my class and subscribe my channel i will be back with yet another video thank you